a spot in the finals up for grabs, but one team has a much better chance of getting there. Frolunda come in to the home monitoring arena in Pilsen with a three goal advantage after their 6-3 victory in Gothenburg last week. Who will advance? We'll have to wait 60 minutes or more to find out. In the first period, things got off to the same start they did last week. Quick offense by Gothenburg and a better net mining show there by Dominic Frodo. Well, that net minding challenge would not stand all night. Lash, the top scorer, gets himself another goal in his column. Most of his points come from dishing out the puck. This time, he dishes it right into the net. Beautiful wraparound. Still in the first period, and Pilsen looked a bit off sorts through most of it, but they did manage a couple scoring chances. This, one of the better ones. Gustafsson was strong throughout 20 minutes, and he needed to be, as his team were peppered at times, but his counterpart came up big too. Frodo with another save, a much better effort than last week's outing. Well, with that goal deferential the way it is, a second goal would spell doom and a close call. But in the end, no goal on the ice, a close opportunity, but Pilsen prevail this time around. Still in the second period, and Pilsen's power play got to work, but unfortunately for them, it didn't do much working. 0 for 3 on the night, and that's backed by a poor performance on the man advantage last week as well. A couple chances, but nothing getting past the netminder. A carryover penalty, a double minor high sticking call to end the second period results in the second goal of the game. Yalmarsson on the doorstep, but that goal would not be the last for his side. Joel Mustonen follows up the Yalmarsson goal just 42 seconds later, and that's the third one for Frölunda in the matchup. A three-goal lead in this game, and a six-goal advantage on aggregate. Things are going Frölunda's way, and the shots keep coming, but Frodo does what he can to keep his team in the thick of things. His patience is rewarded with offensive opportunities the other way, but Frölunda just seemed to have all the bounces go in their favor. That one a real squeaker through the pads. Well, finally, the home crowd size chance. And elation is released. Dennis Kindle gets the lone Pilsen goal of tonight's affair. 50-42 the time of his tally. And it took a bit of a knuckler and bobbler to beat Gustafsson. But in the end, it's Frölunda who beat Pilsen. An overall aggregate of 9-4. They move on to another CHL final.